doing that. Freezing the license fee, yes, of course you can find savings in a massive organization like that that arguably does a lot more than it needs to do for that core remit. But attacking it because it's a political uh, venture, if you like, that you think is going to help you, very, very dangerous. So you say that the BBC is a window on the world. There are a lot of people who say that it's a distorted window on the world. Um, a lot of people who genuinely and sincerely believe that the BBC leans pretty far to the left, and that actually does in fact to inform its reportage of current events, particularly in this country. I mean, you would certainly say that, wouldn't you, Andrew? It's a bit like that. And, and, therefore, like that and therefore, in a sense, they've been asking for it. I'm not saying that's what I think. Richard, but that, that's yeah, very Richard as somebody who is on the left, it does not lean to the left, I assure you. It, 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 it is somewhere in the middle of a, the road and establishment uh, organisation. You don't yeah. recognise a left... A left just pick, talk to the former director general, Mark, Mark Thompson, who was there for many years. I interviewed him many times. He said in the major, we were too left. We were too institutionally biased to the left. And they have been for years. Okay, and we've had a conservative government for 12 do, years. Uh, that is the persistent criticism. Do you think it's true as someone who worked in political coverage at the BBC? Um, well, I think, you know, it, it, I, I always, my guide to myself was if you annoy both sides, that was fine. If you please both sides, that's fine. What you can't be is in a position where one side is happy with, with you, the other is not. And in terms of news and current affairs, I think that's where they end up most of the time. There, there's some sort of things that can be tweaked, of course, and it's right that the BBC keeps questioning itself and keeps refining what it does. But I don't think in the end that it sets out with a mission to sort of, you know, topple the right and bring down you know, conservative governments. Well, if it, was, uh, it hasn't been very successful. I mean, the other, the other criticism... Yeah. <laughs> 12, 12 years <laughs> conservative <laughs> rule, yeah. Uh, the other thing win, is, yeah. of course, it was <laughs> criticised for being anti-Brexit. Well, it was. Well, yeah, well it, no, was. it was. It was. Brexit got voted yeah, in, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah because, because yeah. people don't take the BBC as serious as they used to. I think they did a very right. poor job on Brexit. They did. Right. Look, look, and, 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 you know, you, that Question Time programme, in two, in a two I, years, in two years, they had about, I think, one pro-Brexit guest on, in the panel of four, and the guests on the on the main for today program consistently three or four people anti well, that, it was the bbc was passionately okay. anti well, that, well, the, the today well, the, program yeah. has a cabinet minister on yeah, yeah. The conservative well, the, like every single morning well, they always had remained other well, people point out nigel farage had a season ticket for question time it was on <laughs> frequently and brexit wasn't actually a big <laughs> issue until after 2015 you saw you asked mm. people what are you What's the big issues facing Britain? Brexit never got in the but top can't ten. Argue, but you can't argue this, that on, on the night that the result came in after the referendum, there's no question that the shock uh, on the faces of the yeah. broadcasts was palpable. Yeah. I mean, they were not expected. But that was... Because yeah. they, um, they hadn't gone out from their little Westminster bubble. Michael, 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 they were North, looking at polling, the which said that yeah. Remain would win, yeah. and they might be shocked that they were listening to, they were listening to Maguire. Michael, the trouble. Michael Gove, Boris Johnson, and Nigel Farage were shocked because they didn't <laughs> think they were going to win. Let's, let, I had money on it. I right. had money on it we were going to win. I had money on it we were going to win. I did very nicely. I knew we were going to win. Metropolitan twits like it. BBC is such a left-wing political hotbed. Get your Harry covered politics and went to work for a Tory mayor in London. Mm. The two previous directors of communications and down history for the Tories came from the BBC too. I mean, it's a, it's a complete... Right. Well, let's zip it up here because we're only time to talk to Rambo about her documentary tonight. Yeah. And you two are going to be taking part in that too. Yeah.